blame me every goddamn time. If every time, breaks. you know, because that's just you. I got to blame somebody. I wouldn't dare be responsible for my own stuff, right? I mean, but I was you, driving, but you looked at it, and then it started to fail. The second you looked at it, that was it. It was over. It's like, okay, hey, we're not going to work anymore. It, it, you know, it took after you. It's like, ooh, Dad's not working. Dad's not looking. I'm not going to work anymore. All right? Tim takes a look at it. I'm not working anymore. That's how it goes. All right? Dad's not looking. I'm just going to stop working. It's contagious. Tim looks at it. Stops working. Boom. Do we pick on you, Tim? Yes. Yeah, well, you're going to fix it, right? I got a pretty good idea that it's probably right here in this little bastard. Because once it, re see, this is connected to the air conditioner, believe it or not. And I'm seeing dirt fall out. When I, don't twist those bolts off. They're stupid. Get, okay, oh my God. Don't, no, don't, don't retorque them. Okay, you're making me nervous, Tim. Making me nervous. So we need two of these. And they look like they're going to be like a nine millimeter or a, uh, I don't know, five sixteenths maybe. Tonight. It's a what? Eight mil. Yeah, I'm thinking it's an eight mil because it's a Dugan or Doogie or Dougie or Duggo or whatever the hello. I know it's a, it's got a weird name to it. I saw it before. There it is. That's it. Probably somebody can give me the part number, but it's jammed up pretty good. Anyway, we'll get it. So it's me and William, me and William, me and William, and the mower. Uh, this is for all you moms out there. I know there's not too many moms that watch my channel, but dads too. Uh, I sent Teresa to get me a dog bed. The cabs on these mowers are really big. This is, I believe, the same cab as what's on the John Deere combines. But we went and got a dog bed. And it's not for the dog, it's for William. And when he gets tired and cranky and ready to take a nap, he just crawls right up in that dog bed. And life is good. And life is good. So he goes to sleep. He'll sleep there for hours. Hours and hours on end. And that's okay because, you know, kids, they really need to have their sleep when they're growing. Especially at this size. He's three years old. Um, and he's growing at a phenomenal rate. And it's just a good thing to have. So just a tip for the day. Moms, dads, everywhere. At Costco, that damn thing. That damn thing didn't work. Oh, well, I guess it's not going to work. Way it's supposed to. Um, yeah, it's just good. It's just good to do. Anyway, thanks. On to the next thing, right? Next thing? Just another piece to a very busy day. Um, we got the Peak family is coming down. Mr. Richard and his wife, Patricia, or Trish, or Honey Baby, for those viewers that know her as that. Um, and we have a special meal set up for them. My lovely Asawa, my wife, um, went to the Asian market to get the supplies and forgot the fuel to the very special little stove that we have. And uh, yeah, so I'm on my way to Walmart because Walmart says they have three cans left, only three cans left at the Flemington Walmart, so that's where I'm headed, and we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, I just walk right in, pick it up off the shelf. I don't think there's going to be a run on eight-ounce butane cartridge, uh, yeah, camp stove canisters, but anyway, just another day in my life, headed down the road at 60 mile an hour, 65 mile an hour, and we won't specify the speed. And uh, mowers are in the field as well. We got mowers in the field, and we're just doing our thing. So, life is good. Life is so, good. If you're following me from our Peaks channel or from the Drown Truck channel, I got some parts yesterday and today. This is a reconditioned connecting rod, which is the right number, by the way. Um, these wrist pins press into this rod. So that'll be pretty easy to deal with. The old rod is the old rod is a little crooked, as you can see the difference. Uh, still waiting on some parts. Obviously, I'm always waiting on some parts, no matter what I'm doing. But this came yesterday, which was nice. It wasn't it was not expensive. That rod was about twenty nine dollars for a reconditioned rod. There was more expensive ones and. 
they were like original, never used OEM, uh, new old stock, I guess you would call it. And uh, I did get some parts here today. That was yesterday's purchase or thing. And then I got this, the car parts whiz, which is what I've got going on here. I just opened it up and I kind of want to know what's in here. So let's uh, let's do a little bit of a reveal. I know I bought several different things. I bought a uh, Let's see, yes, this is exactly what I was hoping it would be. Valve cover gaskets and intake manifold gaskets. There should be, there better be, oh yeah, the head gasket is in there, cool. We've got some silicone. We've got some ultra gray silicone. And we've got the head bolts for that head, which is a good thing. Because you got to have head bolts. If you don't have head bolts, no head bolts, then you don't have what you want. You don't have what you need. So, cool. The head gasket is sandwiched in between there. Do not, not returnable if package is opened. So don't open the package. Just pray that it's all in there. But it looks like it's the way, what it's supposed to be along with... A whole bunch of other fun stuff I'm still waiting on a I think it's in there I think I'm if the gasket isn't in there the gasket for the water pump is what I'm going to be annoyed about if it's not in there so but that's about it and I'm so happy that even though this took a hit it's not the end of the world it didn't break it it didn't break it, so we're good there. So we got a rod, we got a gasket kit, we got bolts, replacement bolts. Um, what I don't have yet is the piston and the bearing. Now, this piston, this piston is not bent, the skirt's not damaged, but you can see where it has hit the crankshaft right there. And it took just a very, small amount of metal out of them and nicked them i d honestly don't if this was my truck i would replace this or i would keep this i wouldn't care because this piston i know is what was in there and it should be okay um but worst case scenario with one of these things i'm gonna have to get a different wrist pin i'm thinking but uh i don't know anyway yeah because it could have actually crushed that wrist pin i doubt it but i i'm not able to get a piston i have to buy all eight and i'm working through rock auto rock auto may sell me a wrist pin the piston and rings if they don't then i got to go to a junkyard and get that but if you are someone that knows anything about mopar stuff which i do not uh this is the casting numbers 24 6, 567 and it is an F. This is a 318 engine. But if you've got one of these things floating around and you want to donate a piston or two to our Peaks truck, I will put it in. And I need a wrist pin as well because I don't trust that wrist pin. It took a hit, you know. But uh, that's that's the deal. And Mr. Peak is just about here. Uh, he'll be here in just a few minutes. He's on his way. He's actually right where this truck drowned. But once I get all the parts, we're gonna go ahead and put this truck right back together again and fire it up and out the door it'll go. And I'll give him a phone call and he will uh, come up on a train and drive his truck back to Georgia. Back to Georgia. So, but other than that, I mean, oh yeah, and I'm gonna get hoses too. Gotta get all the hoses. I'm gonna replace the hoses for them and the clamps because I don't like them. They're old. This truck is a 93, it's almost 30 years old. So I was 28 years old, so it just needs to have that done. Uh, but for the most part, we're gonna have it all running for him pretty soon. I'm gonna throw that thing down. I don't think this has ever been in New Jersey. Maybe at some point in its career, but not looking like this. Oh, she wants to stall a bit. She's trying. Yeah, I really like those. 
headers on there. That is really cool. Yeah, it's the shake, rattle, and roll machine. And he just took off for, I don't even know where he went. He sounds good though. I find humor in some of the things that he's done here. Like the uh, transmission stick shift boot is an UGG boot. An actual UGG boot. Can you believe that? That's funny. I don't know where he found that, but oh uh, yeah. fun by the way anyways uh, we're gonna go bale hay today uh, turbulent skies turbulent skies uh, day before yesterday no yesterday was it yesterday yeah, it was yesterday yesterday morning or night before yesterday last night before last we got a rainstorm and it ruined my second cut so I said to hell with it ruined the second cut no more second cut so we're gonna go ahead and bail that into big square bales right now. Uh, just got a storm warning, and sometime at about 8:30, 9 o'clock, we're supposed to get hammered with a rainstorm. So I've got two mowers in the field right now, and I'm letting them finish up what they've got going on. It's a fast mover, one of those three tenths of an inch run and drop deals, you know, just through. So, I told them to finish up with what they're doing. They got one more property to do there. And then uh, Cody can get his ass up here and get his tractor and baler going. And I'm going to get my ass in this tractor that I should have just went and bailed the other day in. I wonder what happened to that. And uh, we're going to bail. We're going to bail. Because we got a bail, and uh, that's that. So let's see. Hopefully, everything fires up here. All right. Yep. The 8120 is an awesome tractor, by the way. You know, it's a funny thing. You, you have tractors, and you like them, 
and then you have tractors that you don't like but this one here I like a good tractor I wish I had more horsepower but it is what it is so all I have to do now is get this thing twined up greased up and then me and Teresa are gonna take off and then Cody's gonna jump in and do his deal as well so that'll be good you know when you marry a farmer you know you've married a farmer when you get a call for someone who's just having problems and your wife a, a true farm girl I should say and your wife says hey you go do that I'm gonna start bailing and takes off You're just gone that is happiness right there I couldn't be more proud of my wife but anyhow here's my chariot 8120 for the win AC's working good and uh, we're off we are off Well, this is what the day looks like. Not really thrilled with what we have to do here. Um, we took a uh, $70,000 hay crop and turned it into a $50,000 hay crop just by two tenths of an inch of rain. Robbed the color, wouldn't dry. So I just decided that it goes into the mushroom barn then. That's all there is to it. I would It's just her running, man. She don't even look back. Like, well, she looks back. I don't look back either. I just look at the computer. But she's not looking at me. Hey, sweetheart, could you smile? <laughs> she sticks her tongue out at me. About nine o'clock. Oh, she slowed down. 